Hi, Crosspoint. Here's your in the know in under five minutes for the week of June 12th. This Wednesday evening, we have a couple gatherings happening here at the Crosspoint building. One is a workshop put on by Dave Wolf called God's Story and Your Story. Dave is going to be our new worship and disciple making pastor joining the staff officially in August. He's putting on a workshop Wednesday to help train us in how to share our stories and ultimately share the gospel in the midst of our own testimony. And so I encourage you to be a part of that. Please RSVP. I'll put a link to that RSVP in the description of this video, but that helps us be able to plan. That's happening Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. Also Wednesday the 15th, Bix Bixler and the McCulley Community Group are going to be leading a prayer gathering. And so you can join with other brothers and sisters in Christ if, if you want to pray. So that's going to be happening here at the building. On the 22nd, on that Wednesday evening, we have a couple more workshops happening. One is called Kids and Technology. This is put on by Brian Suter, a uh, licensed counselor. And this is an expertise that he has in how to equip parents in equipping their kids and how to handle technology in a uh, God-glorifying way, in a way that would lead to um, health for the child's life. And so no matter if you have kids, um, how old their kids are, how old your kids are, I encourage you to be a part of that. Again, the link to all workshop details and RSVP is in the description. That's happening the 22nd, 7 p.m. There is child care for that workshop. And so uh, please uh, sign up for that. Spread the word. Invite others to be a part. Also on the 22nd, the other workshop that's going to be happening is called um, uh, just walking with and honoring and loving well, walking with parents who are aging. And so this is occurring for a lot of households, including our own household, in walking with parents who are walking through the elderly seasons and elderly years of their life. And so uh, Pam Tong Tongbakken, a former crosspointer who serves at Redeemer now, she's going to be back. She's a, a nurse and she is a daughter who is, and is currently walking through uh, this season with her, uh, with her dad. And so encourage you to be a part of that. That's again at 7 p.m. on the 22nd. That's simply some practical encouragement about how to do that, as well as just some uh, mutual encouragement among that group of saying, all right, how are, how are you doing this and how to prepare for that season. Then the following week, Sunday, June 26, VBS kicks off. And so uh, we're two weeks out from it, depending on when you're watching this video. And so we are excited about that week. Here's my encouragement. We've, we've talked about donating. We've talked about registering your kids, inviting other uh, kids to be a part. Uh, we've talked about uh, serving, and we'll continue to talk about that in the next couple weeks. Here's my encouragement for this video. Would you pray? Would you spend time praying that the Lord would be at work in and through this ministry, not only in the preparation for it, but in the week of it, that the kids that would come be a part of this would be, they'd, they'd hear the gospel, they'd understand who the Lord is and understand his great love for them, that the Lord would be at work in the volunteers as we serve and that strengthening and building his church in the midst of that. So uh, encouragement to you and I to be praying as we approach VBS. And then finally, the last thing for this video, July 3rd, we will not be gathering here at the building as a Crosspoint Community Church for a service. July 3rd, instead, we will be, weather permitting, at Upper Lake Eureka for a community worship service alongside, I believe, a uh, half a dozen other area churches and gathering for a service there at 10 a.m. at Upper Lake Eureka on July 3rd. All right, so we'll get, you'll see more details about that in the next couple weeks. Uh, the weather location, if it's, if it's an absolute downpour that day, then we'll be at Eureka Middle School. But July 3rd, make note of that. We won't be here at the building. We'll instead be at Upper Lake Eureka with uh, several other brothers and sisters in Christ and being able to worship and open up our Bibles alongside one another. All right. I love you, church. Have a great week in the Lord. See you Sunday. We'll be celebrating Father's Day. We'll be looking at Proverbs and what Proverbs has to say about the area of our speech. Love you.